Hello, 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 and welcome back to another video at Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Now, I've just been fooling around in plasticity after work today, and I've just made this little curved monitor. Personally, I hate curved monitors, but I thought it would be a nice little project. Getting all these little details, like these sort of fake air vents and doing a little bit of surfacing for this, uh, I don't know, stylized vest amount. Um, quite a fun little project. Trying to get all of the proportions, you know, the bezels uh, nice and thin and all of that. But it occurred to me that this is a pretty simple um, model and um, it might not occur to everybody on how to make something like this curved monitor piece easily. So um, this is just a really quick one to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to whack all of this in a group and call it um, original. And we'll just hide that. So go into front view. And let's just get a line, bring it down to the intersection from the middle on the y-axis. Let's just mirror it. Join the curves with J. Okay, we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to mirror that on this axis. What we're going to do is we're going to press G. And we're going to bring this one back. A little bit let's just accentuate it a little bit okay so now we've got these three we're just going to choose a spline curve and we're just going to start with this one to this one to this one right click to select now we've got that we can get rid of that and we can alt x to mirror oh, on the correct axis and if we select all of these we can just join and then we've got this shape and then we just press alt f and we've done a bit of surfacing with the a nerb surface so now that we've got that we can get rid of our curve press number four select this and then we just want to thicken a sheet pull it out i just exaggerate this one a little bit just for the purpose of the tutorial now we got that, we can go into 3, we can just press O, and we can drag that in, not too far, drag this up, and there you have it, and then everything else is just, you know, making your bezels, get rid of that one whatever you like retro future so yeah that's about it and then there you are a curved monitor from the 1960s um, so that's pretty much it if we look at our original Obviously, I used a few different techniques in here, and I don't know. I just thought that was a fun little, you know, quick tip. Thanks a lot for watching. I've got more content on the way, but I just thought I'd just, before I go to bed tonight, uh, show you guys that one. See ya!